come out of college and you have debt. Lots of debt. Debt, 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 debt. Saving and saving and saving and saving and saving. Nice, so I can pay off my student loans and that will be fulfillment. Debt blows. We're talking about debt. <laughs> Whitney's gonna teach us how to crush debt like a boss. Put your smart pants on. Let's talk to Whitney. Just diving right in, you paid off a lot of student loans and you did it in a short amount of time. How much and how long did it take you? Thir it was 30,000 in 10 months. Ah. I know, I know. How, how, just how? How did you do it? It was sacrifice. It was truly looking at my goals and saying, paying off debt is a bigger deal to me than going out to eat or going out for drinks on weekends or doing old anything that I didn't need. And so I, I got a job right out of college as a staff accountant. That was another way of sacrificing. And that extra income allowed me to pay that off so much quicker too. I was exhausted, but it was that goal that kept me going and it kept reminding me that this is a bigger deal. And you start seeing progress and that progress comes really quickly. And so for me, I was like, this is so cool. I was all in on my goal. That idea that you can be you and that you should do that for yourself. I mean, it's the truth. It's something that I preach. I see people go through different variations of self-doubt all the time and it's so sad. It's like, just go do it, yeah, you know? Be awesome, be yeah. you. Not everyone's gonna like what you do, and that's okay. Like, you can't please everybody, and you shouldn't. No. Otherwise, you're not being true to yourself. So what are you willing to trade to make sure that you have an awesome future? Tell us about it below, comment right here.